In Ecuador, government and indigenous movements have put an end to a new cycle of dialogue without concrete agreements on labor and fuels. Both parties officially concluded on Thursday the talks established after last June's strike without achieving processes in two of the ten work tables, uh, the one on uh, fuel subsidies and the one on labor. After 90 days of talks, uh, the government refuses to, to adjust uh, the prices of oil derivatives uh, for sectors that already benefit from subsidy, while well, they assure that changes in uh, labor rights uh, require uh, legislative orders and uh, reforms of legal origin. It is expected uh, for this Friday meeting uh, results uh, will be reported on these two dialogue tables, which are central issues of uh, the demands of the Ecuadorian people. The Ecuadorian people know the effort with me as an indigenous movement and the popular sector to solve the most pressing problems of Ecuador. After two discussions, there is no agreement in the labor and subsidies issues. However, at this point, and after talking with other fellow comrades, we asked the national government to be more flexible in its position on the rich. Here, there are very poor economies, economies that are really deplorable at the moment, but there are economies that are really strong. 